Alright guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2 with me, Simulab 247. I hope you guys are well today. Um, we're going to be looking at the, um, this episode. Um, the Scania 143 trunk will be taking a delivery uh, from uh, the Austrian capital Vienna to Graz. Uh, if you remember in the previous episode where we did a review on this truck, which, we, which was of course um, the first episode of 2016, you guys can check it out and give it a like and a view, and also share if you want to see more, you make sure to see comments on it too. And uh, like to guys, this is the first uh, main episode of 2016, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be broken up into two parts, we're going to be doing the first leg of the journey today. Uh, in this episode, guys, I'm going to be talking about uh, prospects 2016 for me, um, and also some of the um, things we're looking at talking about. Uh, obviously, Royal Trucks is going to be a big thing now, the new 22 version of ETS2. It's a big thing now coming up because, of course, American Trucks are going to be in the next month. Uh, that's also going to be a fantastic addition to the already uh, huge. Markers that is our SAS have Euro Truck. Uh, on top of that, guys, uh, make sure you get your comments, tweets, and uh, messages into it. We are now on Facebook, you can look us up to like up uh, at 7 Please like on that page and find all the days, reviews, all our new trucking adventures. And um, like us on Twitter as well, at Rob15Truck, or you can look at at 247 as well. Give us a uh, following there. So, uh, we're, getting, we're, we're getting underway here in our truck. Uh, it's actually fantastic. Uh, noise wise, it's very good. Engine sounds are very good. Graphics are pretty good as well. The only doubt is that um, this truck I have at the moment, if it's a basic version of the truck, it's nothing too fancy. Because um, I have started to move both from 16 to 17. You know, it, it is a good truck you can get all the customization uh, in it. Uh, the only problem that I find with it is that it does take quite a long time to get it to a good speed. And that's the uh, basic engine. But once it does get going, though, like I said, you can reach your house in the combat with the network when it's going on the more close to the stuff that is pretty good. And so, we're going to get it, we're getting out of here. It's going to be like a long journey for one I've done it before, guys. I remember I did a micro foot to grass. Uh, that wasn't really, I had no commentary on that. I told time and time again, where is the commentary? This was the first, this was the first episode ever for me uh, to have commentary in it. Um, long may that continue. I'll be doing that in the next, um, in the next part two of this episode. Um, I have some more trucks lined up as well, as I said before. before. First of all, we're going to start talking um, today's episode, I suppose, about growing. Um, the growing thing that is Eurotrack. Now, Eurotrack is an expanding years and years uh, in its uh, 2011. And actually, we need back before that, the first version of it. And it's really expanded. So So it's definitely got uh, a long way. Now, what's the new version? Basically, uh, if you don't know all the fixes, I will explain it now because.
Well, from the B1.2 to the because of course, the one trucks. Now, if you're um, a well known user to you, um, your ETS, you know how it works. And you probably will know how to You probably will know when you go into your job, you'll see two different things. You'll see quick job and free job. Now, the most of the job is basically the uh, average. You're not actually buying anything. It's like we're out in our own truck. We're just doing it. So we're going to start off with the first couple of days. The freight market is different. Because we have to buy our own truck. We've got the same thing. We're going to do the same job. The and the freight market are both the same job. But we would be different money. Going for it because you know you're not actually driving your own truck, so you're, you're, you're paying for another person to drive your truck. It's a complicated thing, but you can understand it when you're driving. Now, though, in the new 1.22 version of the game, um, we have seen the hard thing in the experiment. Now, I personally haven't set up this yet, and I probably won't because I find that you know job market that's good enough for me but for those who are you know big truckers and you're a truck dealer you obviously want to see it you obviously want to see exactly what's happening now basically guys what the story is that uh, you need to have a set up account where are the trucks and you need to set up and basically so um, put in your details be a youtube channel or this your name you have to have all your, all your keys, and all your serial numbers, passwords, all this from your ETS tube. And once you have that in place, it's basically walking the car. Because all you have to do on, and you're up here, you're all done to the end. When you're playing the game, when you're to play the game, then everything will work pretty smoothly for you. So basically what you do is you go into the external contracts. It will then give you a list of contracts that you can link with your right? Now these change for these very different days. It's not the same fund, it's not the same job you get uh, from the freight market or the pick job. Why? Because it's all around in Europe. So, what happens is that you will get you will get and basically you sign off for it. So let's say if you're doing one, as I am today, doing one from Austria, in you're in Austria. Four was just uh, a place where you could put up your own photos, uh, submit your uh, own trucker, show off if you can. Uh, if you improve them, that was released in one point six years ago, was of course many moons ago. So now, as I said, it's definitely improved on that. So you are definitely um, in the rhythm of things that you can be copying from. Um, and and that's it, guys. World one point two two. But all people, I mean, people absolutely love it. And um, because, I mean, now you have the, the bigger setting, you have much more people getting involved in the game, and you know that's what it should be like. So, uh, my advice to you guys is, is that you know 1.22 is pretty good, even without that, because they have done a few things, uh, a few minor things that they have done with it. They've added in a couple of um, extra bits and pieces here and there. No new cities in that. That was all in the 1.21 update. I think. Bits and pieces there. Um, but like I said guys, they are now good for the new game release. Of course, America's so not 
heist and nicely for our next conversation, which is of course about American American The um, company that uh, made it suffer has now released the date, uh, the 6th of February 2016. Now, whether or not that's for the regular living, I don't know, but it's being released anyway, so it was in, in, in the US and it's being pre released there at the start of February. So, if you, um, my advice to you is this, guys, it's going to be a much interesting video, and we'll get onto that in a minute. But my first advice to you is to go for the, um, the good story, okay? There has been rumours that people will be selling this game pirated copies, uh, fake it down, what we need, and you kind of And you don't want that, you want a proper game, and you want that to stay. So, don't, if there's anyone out there saying that, oh, you can do it for the American Fox CD, and it's, it's, it's a trial download, have a go at it, don't go near it. Unless it says, by the internet, it's proven by the SES software board that it is a proper game, it's a proper game. And anyway, American Shorts, yes, well, I'll tell you, it's a fantastic game. I'm personally, I would be getting it to the Testing for an engine sound, and even cabin interior. 
it was no different for American truck. So, um, you know, there's so much noise in some of these trucks. And if you are a, a frequent mod user, then you'll obviously know how it works. You'll obviously have seen which um, mods for the good trucks, the American Golf Verde trucks, that they are very noisy. They are very they are detailed. And they are going to be much more detailed than the Scandinavian Pro Mod Pack. Um, I haven't downloaded it yet, but I probably will eventually get it. Don't worry about it, I will get it. Um, but that was one of the biggest things that the Pro Mod Packs. Um, TSM as well, all the maps, down south, maps, down maps, which are actually getting more and more used in a lot of people. So they have to back down from down there. Around, it's better. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll link to its two mod pages, and you will obviously see lots of maps. Now, will I trust them? They are improving on their uh, popular game. They know exactly what they're doing. Then, no, I wouldn't go there with because you wouldn't actually know what they're selling you. Um, but apart from that, guys, if you go into the to its two page downloads, base game, from the pro mod pack, and of course, well, the bone is also a big thing as well because you have more speed. It's in Europe and the other way to do it, they're very controlled. And loads of maps, guys. Hundreds of maps. Now, like I said, they could be the same, they could be 20 the same actually in the region, but you know, half of them could be all uh, banjacks, which could be wrong. So, you know, that you have always, always very, very, very um, both guys, I think we're going to cut a short there, um, it, but before we go, um, in part two guys, make sure to join us, so we're going to be talking um, from the year ahead for me, and also we're going to be looking at, of course, the um, year, best truck of the year, P16, which I will be telling you more about in part two. So make sure to join me next time guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you.